Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here, I have a mammoth of a fairy shrimp that is typically found in alkali flats or dry lakes. This is the alkali fairy shrimp, scientifically known as Brinconecta bikini. This fairy shrimp occurs west of the continental divide, from British Columbia and Canada, southward to Mexico, and westward to the Pacific Ocean. You can find this species present in both Canada and United States. The alkali fairy shrimp thrives in seasonal and ephemeral wetlands, like dry lakes. These wetlands are characterized by being highly turbid and containing dissolved calcium salts. So, in captivity, I use a substrate mixture of sand, calcium carbonate, and compost. This mixture is much different than their natural habitat, however, it seems to work fine. These guys prefer cooler temperatures around 50s to 70 in my experience, and hatching occurs a little later, usually around 72 hours of being submerged in the water. One trouble I've had with culturing the species is they cannot handle bacterial or fungi films in the water, especially at early stages in life. Some fairy shrimp species are capable of breaking free from this film. However, most of the time, these guys cannot and they will suffocate and perish. So when setting up the tank for this fairy shrimp, I use a very small amount of compost and actually try to promote free floating algae to grow using liquid fertilizer. So in this case, there's plenty of algae to eat and there's not many um, bacterial or fungi films that they can get stuck on. Now, in my experience, this fairy shrimp has a much slower growth rate than other species of the same genus. These guys usually take two weeks in my experience to reach sexual maturity. And the growth is pretty steady until they reach full size. Now, I really like these fairy shrimps since they are gentle giants as they gracefully glide through the water, um, always swimming in a forward motion. There's also a tendency for females to stay closer to the bottom, just hovering over the substrate. Now, the mating process for the species is also very quick. Males use their second antenna to latch onto the females, and this initiates the mating process. Now, some features of this species. Most species within this genus have very simple second antennas. In the case of the alkali fairy shrimp, Males have two very long second antenna that extend a good portion of its body. And the tip of these antennas are usually rounded um, and notched. On the other hand, females have a very long uh, first antenna and the oversac or brood pouch is in a teardrop shape. As far as the life expectancy, these guys are about three months old and they're still thriving. So they could probably live another month or so, but I guess I'll just have to keep an eye on them. Another thing that I've realized is most of my fairy shrimps actually live very long and I probably unknowingly selectively bred individuals to live the longest by letting them reproduce the most. So maybe in the wild their lifespan is actually shorter. Well, this is all that I have for this species. Um, you guys can continue to watch the remaining clips, but if you wanna see more content, please just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.